If I had to give one, it's what I was going to say at dinner is that I don't care what path you choose, that if you're not curious, you're leaving here way too unprepared because there's just this huge gap. I thought I studied reasonably hard and <laughs> I got 10% out of what this university probably had to offer if I'd have put my true shoulder to the wheel. Well, the way to compensate for that is simply with curiosity. And to me, the way in which people practice inquiry is, is too shallow to deal with some of the bigger problems you'll find in business. And so the language I use is you have to read with purpose. You have to, I know people don't use paper anymore, I still do, so I write in the margin that by reading with purpose, while you're reading something, you're simultaneously arguing with it or debating with the author even though they're not present. But that practice of active inquiry and fueled by curiosity, it's the only defense because things are going to change and you're going to be obliged to be a learner again and again and again. And I would think learning without curiosity would lack a lot of fun. Just, where, where's the energy going to come to this arduous task of learning over and over and over again if it wasn't fueled by curiosity?